Hi students, welcome to the channel NCRT Maths Tutor. In this video, I am explaining the solution of exercise 4.1, chapter 4, principle of mathematical induction, question number 22 and 23. Question number 22, 3 to the power 2n plus 2 minus 8n minus 9 is divisible by 8. Now, let us say that the given statement is p of n. The first step is proving or checking the statement for n is equal to 1. So, to check that, wherever you have n, replace that with the value 1. So, here we have p of 1, 3 to the power, see, 2 into 1. In the place of n, put the value 1. 2 into 1 plus 2 minus 8. Again, in the place of n, put the value 1. 8 into 1 minus 9. So, 2 plus 2 which is 4, 3 to the power 4 minus minus 8 minus 9 that is minus 17. 3 to the power 4 is 81, 81 minus 17 which is 64. So, 64 is divisible by 8. 64 divided by 8 we get the quotient as 8 and here the remainder is 0 which is successfully divisible or this 64 we can write in the form 8 into 8. So, we can say that this 64 is successfully divisible by 8 that means here the statement is now true for n is equal to 1. Next, as it is true for n is equal to 1, we can proceed to the second step. The second step is making the assumption. Here, we take some positive integer k and we assume that the given statement is true for that integer. So, now let us write the statement in the form of p of k. So, to write the statement in the form of p of k, wherever you have n, replace that with the value k. So, we have here p of k, 3 to the power 2k plus 2 minus 8k minus 9 is equal to 8a. Let us say that this is the statement 1. So, here for the later use, I will uh, take here the 3k, 3, 2, 3 to the power 2k plus 2 value. So, this minus 8k and minus 9 I am moving to this side so that these two values becomes plus. So, we have here 3 to the power 2k plus 2 is equal to 8a plus 8k plus 9. Now, the next step, the, in the third step here, now we have to prove that the given statement is true for p of k plus 1. So, to prove that here, I am writing first the p of k plus 1 statement. To write the p of k plus 1 statement, wherever you have k, replace that with the value k plus 1. So, p of k plus 1, see here, 3 to the power 2, here we have k, replace this with the value k plus 1. So, 2 into k plus 1 plus 2 minus 8, again this k you have to replace with the value k plus 1 minus 9, that is, is equal to 8b. See, here I have written 8a and here I have written 8b. In the question, they have given that the given value is divisible by 8. Divisible means what? For example, if you have 64, 64 is successfully divisible by 8. How we can say? The 64 we can write 8 into 8. 8 into some number. In the same way, if I take here 48, the 48 is divisible by 8 because 8 into 6, that is, is equal to 48. So, you can write all these numbers in the form. The first number is 8 always. Then, the second number may vary. It may be some natural numbers. It may be some value. So, we can say that 8 into some number, that some number I am taking as 8. In the case of P of K and in the case of P of K plus 1, let us say that that number is B. So, now this we have to prove. So, here to prove this one, first I will consider the LHS, left hand side value of P of K plus 1. Where we have here 3 to the power, see multiply this 2 to K plus 1. So, we have 2K plus 2 plus 2 minus 8 into k plus 1 minus 9. Now, this we can write in the form a to the power m plus n. We can write as, suppose if you have a to the power m plus n, this we can write in the form a to the power m into a to the power n. So, 
here also I am separating these two values. We have here 3 to the power 2k plus 2 plus 2. So I am writing this one as one value and this one as another value. So 3 to the power 2k plus 2 into 3 square minus multiply this 8 with this. So we have here minus 8k then minus 8 minus 9. Now this value already we know from our assumption. So replace the value of 3 to the power k plus 2 here. So 3 to the power k plus 2 is equal to 8a plus 8k plus 9. This value replace here. So from the assumption we have this value which is 8a plus 8k plus 9 into 3 square minus 8k minus 8 minus 9 which is minus 17. Then again further simplify this one 8a plus 8k plus 9 this is 3 square which is 9 minus 8k minus 17. So now multiply this 9 to this value. So we get here 9 into 8 which is 72 A. 9 into 8 again 72 K. 9 into 9 that is 81 minus 8 K minus 17. Then 72 A then 72 K and minus 8 K we have which is the 64 K. Then 81 minus 17 which is 64. Now again see if you see this one you can see take here the value 8 out. These are the multiples 72. 8 into 9 is equal to 72. 8 into 8 is equal to 64. So if I take here 8 out then we have here 8 that is 9a then plus 8k plus 8 and see this is nothing but here we have some value which is a multiple of 8 only because you are multiplying some number to 8 then you will get some value and that value is successfully divisible by 8 or it is a multiple of 8 only so that's why let us say that that number is some b so 8b and that is nothing but our rhs which is a p of k plus 1 statement so now hence here uh, we have uh, uh, proved that the statement p of k plus 1 is true uh, ends by principle of mathematical induction. Now we can say that the given statement is true for all the set of natural numbers. Now next here we will discuss question number uh, 23. Question number 23 is uh, 41 to the power n minus uh, 14 to the power n is a multiple of 27. So again let us say that the given statement is p of n. The first step is we have to check the statement for n is equal to 1. So wherever you have n replace that with the value 1. So we have here p of 1 41 to the power 1 minus 14 to the power 1 is equal to. See here 41 minus 14 which is 27 and this 27 is a multiple of 27 only which we can write as 1 into 27 or 27 into 1. So that means now here the given statement is true for n is equal to 1. Next in the second step here we take some positive integer and we assume that the given statement is true for that uh, positive integer k. So now let us write the statement in the form of p of k. So wherever you have n replace that with the value k. So we have here p of k 41 to the power k minus 14 to the power k is equal to c. Here we have a sentence that is which is a multiple of 27. Multiple of 27 means here for example 27 into 1 or some numbers if, you, if I take 54. 27 into 2 which is, is equal to 54. So 27 into some number will give you some value that is a multiple of 27 right. Definitely that is a multiple of uh, 27. So that value I am writing as a. Let us say that that variable is a. So 27 into a. So instead of writing in the form of sentence I am writing like this way 27 into a. Now this is let us say that this is our uh, assumption 1 or statement 1 and then for later use I will uh, uh, find the value of 41k here just move this minus 14k to this side right side so that becomes plus so we have here 41 to the power k is equal to 27a plus 14k. Next uh, by using this assumption now we have to prove that the given statement is true for p of k plus 1. So now to check that first uh, let us write the statement in the form of p of k plus 1. So to write the statement in the form of p of k plus 1 wherever you have k replace that with the value k plus 1. So 41 to the power k plus 1 minus 14 to the power k plus 1 is equal to again here see they have given in the question that 
27 it is a multiple of 27 so 27 into some value so that some value I'm, we are taking as some variable name so here in the case of p of k i have taken a now let us say that here it is b now let us take the left hand side of p of k plus 1 which is uh, 41 to the power k plus 1 minus 14 to the power k plus 1 so here 41 to the power k this one i will split and write 41 to the power k plus 1 as 41 to the power k into 41 minus again 14 to the power k into 14 which is nothing but 14 to the power k plus 1 only then we know the value of this 41 to the power k from our assumption which is uh, 27a plus 14k so just put that value here replace that value here in the place of 41 to the power k which is 27a plus 14k into 41 minus 14k into 14 then multiply this 41 to these two terms so we have here 27a into 41 plus 14k into 41 minus 14k into 14 then uh, in this case here we have the value see 27a into 41 here among these two term 14k is common so you can take that out if i take 14k out we have here the remaining value 41 minus 14 then that becomes 27a into 41 plus 14k 41 minus 14 that is 27 then Again, among these two terms, we have 27 common. So, you can take 27 out. So, if I take 27 out, here the remaining value is 41 into A plus 14K. See, again here, we have some value. That value you are multiplying with 27. So, you will get a multiple of 27 only here. So, that means, let us say that that value sum B. So, 27 into B, which is nothing but our RHS of P of K plus 1 statement. That means, here we reach to the RHS. So, now, now here we have proved that the statement p of k plus 1 is also true whenever the statement p of k is true. So hence by principle of mathematical induction here now we can say that the given statement p of n is true for all the set of natural numbers. Thanks for watching.